Wow! This place is almost like Vion City, but more advanced. Say, maybe while we collect our troublemakers, maybe we can gather some of the technology here. It just might be enough to bring back our friends. That's not a bad idea, Ariana. In fact, if you see any piece of technology that can be of use to us, don't hesitate to swipe it. Got it. So, who shall we snatch first? Say, is that Carla over there? Why it is, and I think she has made some new friends. Ooh, should we snatch them too? Nah, I think Carla would be just enough, plus it will be hilarious to see those girls freak out over their friend being taken away. But first, we're going to need a disguise to get close to her without her recognizing us. Well, I honestly doubt she'll remember us, but I guess that is okay as well. It's really good to meet you, Carla. Same here, gals. I'm really liking it over here a lot better than my old town. So, Carla, whatever happened at your old town? Well, it's kind of a long story. Back in my town in Vion City, my former schoolmates have been doing something really bad that made a lot of us very pissed off. I do admit, I was once a bit mischievous myself, but to be quite honest, I am getting tired of doing that same thing over and over again. I want to truly find what really makes me happy. And honestly, causing trouble just doesn't make me feel better, it just made things worse for me. It got so out of hand that I was expelled from school and kicked out of the home as a result of it. I really just want to restart my life and have a change, which is why my friends and I left our old town and moved over here to get our lives together and improve ourselves. This meant that we would retire from troublemaking and go our separate ways and go on a new path that will lead us to a brighter future. Whoa. Just whoa. You must have gone through a lot, Kala. Yeah, but part of it was on me because of my selfish actions. All I can say is, whatever future plans or career you want to do in the future, we'll be here to support you. Hey, thanks. I mean it's a process, I mean a really long process to repent a lot of my sins I've done over the years. Hey there young girl. Oh, uh, hi there. We've been overhearing that you are wanting to turn your life around. Is that true? Yeah, that's correct. Well follow us, we are willing to book you in for our group therapy. It won't cost you much. Okay Kala, we support your decisions of turning over a new leaf, but I'm not so sure about those two. It's honestly kinda random that two ladies who have been eavesdropping on our conversation are willing to get you help. I mean, maybe it could be a strange convenience. Besides, how bad can it be? Okay, I'll check it out. Good. Now follow us over to our van. I have a bad feeling about this. Wow, this is some van you guys have. Hello? Are you guys still there? This wasn't some sort of joke, was it? Joke would be kinda of a soft term, I would go with. Surprise mofo. I got her. Excellent. Now let's go after the others, shall we? Bullseye. Wow, that was amazing, Yuna. Thanks. I'm really enjoying this activity a lot. You gotta show me more of your skills. Well, it's all in the technique. Oh man, I'm going to be late for work. Oh man. Say, how about I show you more tomorrow since my shift is only from Mondays to Fridays? Sure, that sounds like a plan. Well I gotta go, see you later Greg. See you later Yuna. Eleven seven? Huh, this dimension seems to parody some of our well-known areas. Are you sure Yuna is located here? The tracker doesn't lie. We did drive 30 minutes just to go to a random location where our troublemaker is not even located at. Well, in either case, let's go and snatch her. Wait a minute. What is it now? We already have these stupid disguises on. We don't want to make it too obvious that we are going to kidnap her. 
So how do we even get close to her? Leave this to me. Excuse me ma'am, there is a bit of a problem with the toilet in the women's restroom. <laughs> Nothing seems to be wrong with the toilet. What the hell is the meaning of this? Say, you were right Ariana, this was actually so much fun. Next stop. The twins. Ugh. Do we really have to wait in line to get into the party? Just wait. Whoa, that was fast. Hey, who are you two? Um, I'm Penny. And I'm Marina. I don't see your names on the list. Well, big boy, how about you let us in the party, and no one will have to get hurt. Oh, how about I don't let you two in since you aren't invited? Oh well, I guess we will have to leave. Say, is that a kid who is trying to sneak into the party? What? Smart move, Ariana. Thanks. My tracker says that Brianna and Tiana should be in this room. But where are they? It's kinda hard to spot them in this crowded room. Are you all having the greatest night ever? Good to hear. Now prepare to get your groove on. Tiana. Right on it, Brianna. So Brianna and Tiana are the hostesses of this party. I take it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's just that the music is really catchy. Focus. We need to find a way to snatch Brianna and Tiana without anyone noticing. Say, maybe we can snatch one of them at a time while they are by themselves. You know, that actually might work. How did you come up with that idea? I see Brianna leaving to take a break. Perfect. I'll grab Brianna once she is all alone. But what will I do? Just keep doing whatever until I give the signal. Man! That had to be one of the greatest parties we have ever thrown, right Brianna? Brianna? Did she go home without me? Say sir, have you seen my twin sis? She looks like, well, me. Mmm. Why is the door wide open? Did Brianna forget to close it when she got home? <coughs> Brianna. Tiana. You have to get out of here. This is a trap. A trap? Who is even doing this? Uh? They are behind me, aren't they? Wake up! Where am I? Oh great it's you four again, what do you want from us? And more importantly, why are you guys wearing those outfits? Are you all supposed to act tough, but you're really not? Hush your mouth before I kick your face clean. That's a weak threat. That ain't no threat, that will be a promise. Whatever you say. Ugh. Well, we all gather you all lovely troublemakers to do us a favor. Since you guys are pretty much worthless, why won't you return home and we can make things back to the way it was before our hatedom? Well, I'm sorry to say this girls, but we are going to decline that offer. What? Why? Don't you guys want to continue getting revenge on your haters and cause mischief every day? Aren't she getting the point? We retire from troublemaking and we are restarting our lives. But troublemaking is y'all thing. 
you guys were born to cause mayhem and chaos. That was in the past, we already moved on from getting revenge on causing trouble because we found better things to do in our lives than doing stupid things and getting grounded. Besides, we made it clear that we will not be returning to the Vian dimension because it is really horrible there and how troublemakers were getting treated and we can't take it anymore. Well that's too bad, whether you want to or not, you all, as well as Molly and the rest, will return to your troublemaking ways. Allow me to present our plan. Oh great, the villain is displaying their evil plans like they always do. Amateurs I tell you. Quiet you too. Anyways, as I was saying, you guys are going to become troublemakers again. Not only that, but we are going to use this device to erase any other groups other than us and replace them with our missing friends like, the cheer forces, the cute girls, the royal purple palace girls and our college friends. Everyone will worship us like goddesses and our series will get revived in substitute for those stupid grounded series and karma videos. Even our biggest haters will not stand a chance to resist the inevitable fate that is yet to come. They will be praising us, worshipping us, and submitting to our authority. As for troublemakers like you four, you all will be sent back to your parents to be grounded every day of your lives whenever you cause mischief. We'll use Molly for example since she was the one who started the trend of our troublemakers turning over a new leaf. Man, what a stupid craphead. As you see, Molly is getting grounded for all of the bad things she has put us through this year. Not only that, but she is given an extreme punishment day, with harsh and brutal punishments. As for me, I will be getting rewarded every day for my heroic deeds and being the most nice daughter for my parents and I can do whatever the hell I want. Hey! You can't do that. Well, that's too bad. Hey, Penelope, what should we do to these four? I have something in mind. Hope you losers enjoy your new friends. What did she mean, new friends? Could it be? Karma, Yuna, Brianna, and Tiana. Molly, and friends. Um, hi. Don't you say hi to us. We are still pissed at what you have done to our friend Molly and to all of us who've improved their behavior. Look, we are really sorry about that, but we have some really important information we got to warn you guys. Oh yeah? What kind of information? Something really bad is about to happen to not only us, but to the rest of the world. The cheer girls have sent some spies after us. Boy. We don't work for the stupid trash girls. Besides, we still hate them too y'all know. Yeah, this is coming from the copycat sister of Brianna Johnson. Says the one who is pretty much a joke in the entire Dixon trio. Oh yeah. You wanna bring it on. What's up? Knock, Knock it, it off, off you too. too. Hey, stay out of this. That is my friend who is in the fight as well. Oh yeah? Well my brother is in the fight as well. Our brother. Our friend. Our, Our brother. brother. Our, Our friend. friend. <laughs> Ugh. Why do I even bother? You guys are just too difficult. This is really getting out of hand. Yeah, we need to get them to stop fighting. Molly, what are you staring at? Ha 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 ha. It's so funny to see our adorable little troublemakers fight like big babies. So that's what she wants, huh? Guys. Stop fighting and listen up. That goes for you too, Tiana and Brick. Guys, just look at ourselves, fighting like wild animals? This is the type of behavior that the cheer girls want. They get entertainment and enjoyment out of this. And on top of that, freaking out over our former friends arriving was just very unnecessary. To be quite honest, this behavior is resembling that of the cheer girls. We all have to understand that not all troublemakers are bad, and that it is important to treat them fairly because they are human just like us. In fact, we would be very hypocritical since we have also done just as many bad things in the past before we started learning from our mistakes. You know what? 
You guys have a very good point on that, we shouldn't have overreacted when Carla and the rest were brought here. Instead of beefing with each other on some stupid drama, we should have just listened to what they had to say, because our biggest problem is whatever evil plan the cheer girls are planning. They should be called the evil girls. Yeah, that's a good one there. I think we can now come to an agreement on how we can escape and defeat the evil girls. Finally. But we are not too sure of a plan we can do. Any ideas, Molly? Sadly, we've been trying to think of something for hours, and almost all the ideas would end us getting caught or remain trapped in here. I think I might have a plan, but we're gonna have to wait until the time is right. Alright, we're all ears. What? Oh man, I really liked it when they were fighting like big babies. Hey Penelope, we got a great surprise. What is the surprise? It's not a what surprise, but rather who is. While Cecile and I were exploring around the Vyond dimension, we just so happened to find a couple of our good friends. Really? Who? Just take a look for yourself. Hello Penelope. Hello, Penelope. 